So, as you may know, I'm a pretty big fan of butterflies and moths. But the truth is, they can be a problem as well. Why? Well, let's find out. Because I have something to show you today. Something very educational. So a few years ago in Europe, there was one species of moth that was accidentally introduced in uh, our country, our continent rather, and it has been a problem since. What you're looking at right now is, uh, well, the real entomologist here will already know at this point what I'm going to talk about. It is, um, here we have an infection. What you're looking at is, is a box tree, uh, which is a kind of plant that is uh, commercially sold here and often used as a garden plant. So <clears throat> let's try and see some uh, individuals in here. They are usually easy to find. If we keep looking, we'll find some. Anyway, the species is the box tree moth. It's a Microlepidoptera. Um, basically they are an invasive species who is uh, doing a lot of damage and here we have a larva so it didn't take very long for me to find one scientific name is um, Glyphodes perspectalis or I think the new name is Sidalima Perspectalis, they renamed it for some reason. Either way, this moth uh, doesn't really belong here, it's an Asian species. And what they're doing is, uh, well, they're doing a lot of damage by devouring all our box trees. And basically they have no natural predators in Europe. The, they also sequester alkaloids, which are chemicals that make them toxic, so predators don't really like to eat them. And uh, in some summer nights, it's the most common species in my area. There are hundreds or thousands of them on warm nights. And well, it's not as big as a problem because uh, box tree, buxus, is also an invasive plant here for the largest part, though we do have some uh, native box trees, but not a lot of them. Which means that most of the damage is just economical damage, because uh, only humans really care about box trees. However, in Eastern Europe there are also uh, large box tree forests which are native to that area, which are also being destroyed. So it's not true that they only de damage our economy, because they do damage nature as well. So, and this is one of the dangers of releasing uh, exotic species outside of their native area. There's just no way you're going to know uh, the impact they'll have and interactions they'll have with uh, our environment. And um, well really, it's a massive problem right now. One of the most problematic species of, uh, of pests in Europe right now and while you can see this uh, whole shrub will probably be defoliated by them in a few months time I might capture a few for uh, for breeding actually to do some experiments on them because they are still interesting to study but uh, anyway yeah it's a sad uh, sad thing so keep in mind do not ever release non-native insects. Even if it's something like a butterfly, which seems harmless, you don't know what's going to happen. And I elaborated on this uh, on another video a few months ago, which I was answering questions I uh, often get asked, but uh, I think it was nice to set an example. <coughs> I'll try and film the plant in a few months time. Probably there will be a lot of damage if we wait for some while here. Here we see a lot more damage. As you can see, this part of the plant's already dead. And they're probably going to devour the rest soon. Here. There's no leaves left. It's going to 
consume the whole plant probably here we have large infestations probably some pupa already I don't know <clears throat> anyways it's just a friendly reminder do not ever release non-native insects because you are harming the environment